Hello dear students, I'm Dr. Moinuddin. Students, in this video we are going to discuss some MCQs on electrothermal atmosphere, which is also known as graphite furnace. As you know that we have discussed completely the theory of electrothermal atmosphere, which is also known as graphite furnace earlier so if you didn't watch that video so i'm putting the link of that video in the top right corner in i button so you can watch that before starting the video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet then subscribe it right now and also press the bell icon so you may get in touch with my upcoming videos so here is the first mcq let's see the statement Electrical heated tubular furnace was first time used by let's see the options so A is Alvof B is Messman C is King while D is Alchemate so let's see what's the right answer so right answer is C that is King means electrical heated tubular furnace was first time used by King so here's the second MCQ. Today's electrothermal atmosphere was appeared in the market in. So the modern at electrothermal atmosphere which we are using these days. So when it was appeared in the market. So let's see the options. So A is 1960s, B in 1970s, C option is 1980s, while D option is 1990s. So let's see the right answer. So right answer is B, which is 1970s. Means today's electrothermal atmosphere was appeared in the market in 1970s. So here's the third MCQ. Electrothermal atmosphere fall in what type of atmosphere? So let's see the categories. So A is continuous, B is discrete, C is both A and B while D is none of these. So let's see what is the right option. So right answer is option B that is discrete mean electrothermal atmosphere fall in discrete atmosphere and let me tell you what are discrete atmosphere. Discrete atmosphere are, are those atmosphere in which the sample is introduced in a confined volume that is in a fixed volume then question number four in which technique electrothermal atomizers are generally not being used let's see the options a is the atomic absorption spectroscopy b is atomic fluorescence spectroscopy and c is atomic emission spectroscopy while d is none of these so let's see what is the right answer so right answer is the option C that is atomic emission spectroscopy. So electrothermal atmosphere are not generally being used in atomic emission spectroscopy. Question number five is the platform on which all the heating events occur is named after the scientist. So which scientist? Let's see the options. So A is Alvof, B is Messman, C is King while D is Alchemate. So let's see what is the right option. So right answer is option A that is Alvov. So the platform is called Alvov platform which is used in uh, graphite furnace. Then question number six is which samples are being introduced into plasma using electrothermal atomizers? So let's see the options. A is the solid samples, B is the liquid samples, C is the gaseous samples, while D is none of these. So let's see what is the right answer. So right answer is the option A that is solid samples. So solid samples are being introduced into plasma by the use of electrothermal atmosphere as well. Question number seven is 
The acquisition temperature provided by the electrothermal atomizers is in the range. So in what range the temperature is pro provided by electrothermal atomizers. So let's see the options. A is 6000 to 8000 degree centigrade. B is 1700 to 3150 degree centigrade. C is 3000 to 5000 degree centigrade while D is 1200 to 3000 degree centigrade and the correct answer is option D that is 1200 to 3000 degree centigrade so this is the temperature range provided by electrothermal atomizers then question number 8 is which one is the right sequence of various heating events in electrothermal atomization so let's see the options so first sequence that is a that is ashing drying and then atomization second sequence is the drying atomization and then ashing then the c option is atomization drying and finally ashing and D option is drying, ashing, and then atomization. So let's see what is the correct sequence. So right answer is the option D. And the sequence is uh, first uh, step is the drying, then there occur ashing, and finally there is an atomization phenomena. Then question number nine is the furnace is made up of a dash tube open at the both ends so what is the material of the tube so here are the options option a is silver b is iron c is graphite while d is gold so let's see what is the right answer so right answer is the option c that is graphite so the tube uh, electrothermal atomizer uh, in electrothermal atomization process the tube actually that is made up of graphite then question number 10 is an electrothermal atomizer is a device which is heated by the passage of dash so option a is an electric electrical current b is electrical wave c is electric arc while d is electric spark so let's see what is the right option so right answer is actually the option a which is electrical current so by the use of electrical current actually the electrothermal atomizer is heated question number 11 is length of the graphite tube is so here are the options a one to three centimeter b three to five centimeter c is five to seven centimeter while d is seven to nine centimeter so let's see the right option so right answer is the option b and that is three to five centimeter so length of the graphite tube ranges three to five centimeter then question number 12 is during electrothermal atomization a sample goes through dash phases mean how many phases to achieve atomization so let's see the options a is one b is two c is three while d is four so let's see how many phases so right answer is the option c that is three phases so actually there are three different events and finally we get the atomization question number 13 dash spectral interferences are observed in electrothermal atomizers so options are a is zero b is reduced c is enhanced while d is none of above so let's see what is the right option so right option is the b 
that is reduced so in case of electrothermal at moisture interferences are much reduced question number 14 is electrothermal at moisures provide dash because samples are at moist quickly and have a longer residence time so let's see what are the options so a is the poor sensitivity b is the low sensitivity c is the enhanced sensitivity while d is none of these so right answer is the c and that is enhanced sensitivity so electrothermal atomizers actually these provide enhanced sensitivity question number 15 all the qualitative determinations are based on dash so let's see the option so these are based on peak height option B is peak area C is the peak height and area while D is the peak time so let's see what's the right answer so right option is the D that is peak time so mean at what time the peak is appearing so this actually uh, gives us the qualitative analysis that which elements are which uh, uh, what is present inside the sample question number 16 is the purpose of keeping electrical contacts into water cooled metal housing is let's see the options a is to keep it heated B is to keep these moisturized C is to keep it cold while D is to avoid it from overheating so let's see what is the right answer so right answer is the option D that is to avoid it from overheating so to avoid electrical contacts from overheating they are kept in water-cooled metal housing question number 17 is which one is an advantage of electrothermal atomizer let's see the options so a is the continuous sample flow b is the large sample size c is the small sample size while d is none of these so let's see the right answer so right answer is the option c and that is small sample size so actually electrothermal atomizers are the discrete atomizers in which confined volume is injected and usually that is in a very small size in a very small volume question number 18 is the purpose of argon gas flowing outside the tube is to dash let's see what is the purpose of argon gas flowing outside the tube so option a is the is to damage the tube option b is to repair the tube option c is to prevent it from incineration while option d that it has no effect and let's see what is the right answer so option c is the right option and that is to prevent it from incineration so argon gas is made to flow outside the tube and it helps to prevent the tube from incineration so dear students this was all about current video but still there are a large number of videos in the pipeline so to get them in touch with all of those videos you need to subscribe my channel so thanks for watching thank you very much